In this video we are going to sew a dust cover for our sewing machine. Hi, thanks for stopping by. This is Teresa from Semi Dolls. It's time for another freebie of the month. All my free patterns can be downloaded in my Facebook group in the files section. The link is down below. And if you do not have a Facebook account, you can send me an email via my website. Let's get started. When I designed the pattern, I took the measurements of my sewing machine. Of course, um, you might have to adjust it for your sewing machine, but the cover should be suitable for most sewing machines, I think, if they aren't too big. Fold over the seam allowance on the pattern piece if you want to cut the back and front piece on fold. So I want to cut it on the fold and not have two separate pieces. So I'm folding over my seam allowance here and then I'm cutting it out on the fold. But you can also cut out two separate pieces, but then you will have to use the seam allowance at the top. Now I'm cutting out all my pattern pieces here. This is all explained in the PDF file as well. And I'm using interfacing and also batting, but you could also use um, foam if you want instead of having to deal with batting and interfacing. Now I'm cutting out the side pockets here, the front pocket. I only want a pocket at the front, but you could also make one for the back side of the sewing machine cover. And this is the handle. Of course, I still have to iron it all. And here are all the materials, but they're also listed in the PDF file, so you don't have to write it down here. Take your handle piece, fold it in half, open it up again, and then fold both edges towards the fold in the center. I apologize for this terrible camera angle here. I, had, I only found out too late that it wasn't really the best angle that I could use here. And fold it again and press. I hope you can see it better with the pictures in the PDF file that you can download for free from my Facebook group. Sew along the sides of the handle. Fold the storage pocket in half, put the interfacing inside and press. Iron or sew the interfacing to the left side of the main fabric for the sides and the back and front pieces. Pin and baste the batting to the left side of the front back piece and the sides next. So you're going to sew it onto the interfacing basically and the main fabric. Fold the front and back piece in half to determine the center and pin the handle to it, folding under both ends. Sew the handle to the back and front piece on both sides, sewing a rectangle shaped seam. So to explain this again, I just took my huge 
front and back piece, like the main piece of the sewing machine cover. I folded it in half and then I folded it in half again so I could find the center point of the um, pattern piece and then I pinned the handle to it. So I and then I also took my uh, ruler to find the exact center there. But I will probably just make a little marking on the pattern piece so you don't have to have such a hard time as I did here. <laughs> and just make a little marking on the fabric to know where the handle goes. Top stitch along the top edge of the pocket piece and pin it to the front bottom edge of the front piece. Now I'm folding the fabric to determine where I want to sew the vertical lines to make the front pockets. So this is where I'm going to sew my straight seams to make the pockets. And I'm just marking it with some pins. Sew a couple of straight lines to make the pockets, then baste around the edges to attach the pocket piece to the front and back piece. Pin the side pieces to the side edges of the back and front piece. Sew the side pieces to the side edges of the back and front piece. I always say back and front piece is just the main piece that is the back and front that makes up the back and front um, sides of the sewing machine cover.
and turn the outer sewing machine cover inside out. Pin and sew the side pieces of the lining fabric to the front and back piece. Leave a 3.5 to 4 inch turning hole on one side. And this is where I left the turning hole and I just sewed the other seam straight through. Put the outer part of the sewing machine cover inside the inner one and pin them together along the bottom edge. Sew along the bottom edge.
and turn the cover inside out through the turning hole. Close the turning hole by hand. Pin the bottom edge of the sewing machine cover in place. I like to have the lining fabric show on the outside at the width of the seam allowance, but you can also pin it so that the lining fabric is not visible from the outside. Top stitch along the bottom edge. And now this is where we top stitched. And then we are done. Let's see if the cover fits on my sewing machine. It does and there's even a little room. So I think it would fit all kinds of sewing machines. I hope you enjoyed this little project. Please uh, feel free to download the free pattern from my Facebook group. And I would love to see your pictures if you manage to sew one of these in the Facebook group as well. Now I even have some room for some of my things here in the front, my ruler and my pinking scissors and also I can put some of my clips here that I otherwise have flying around all over my sewing room. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this and I see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you liked the video and it was useful to you. Please give it a like if you like, subscribe for more videos, leave a comment with feedback and video requests and if you like head on over to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, I'd love to connect with you over there. See you next time, bye!